welcome to subramani one question which uh, i keep getting asked is uh, should i invest more money now that the market is down uh, i find the question very amusing because uh, i don't know anything about uh, how you invest and how much you invest but i am assuming let us say you are a diy or you have an advisor and to the advisor you have said oh i have uh, x amount of income i have x amount of x y amount of expenses so x minus y is what i can invest so fine your uh, advisor has accepted that figure or whatever it is 5000 10000 50000 whatever per month that you are investing now suddenly the market has gone down and you have read lot of literature and you have been told when the market goes down you should invest more that's fantastic now how did you know that the market is going to go down well you didn't how did you arrive at this uh, amount of sip that you want to uh, put uh, well again vague uh, you were very happy doing 5000 or 6000 or whatever round number and your uh, you said uh, can we make it 10000 your wife said no 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 we don't know how much we'll be able to do it so let us keep it at 6000 so it remains at 6000 so suddenly the market has come down and you find that you can invest uh, some more money maybe you can invest another 50000 so therefore this question how should i invest more when the market comes down the logic is uh, initially itself you should have invested much more than uh, 6000 because this 50000 is lying in your savings bank account because that money could have already been in the market right the fact that you did not invest it for the last 2 3 years Uh, and uh, therefore it has got accumulated maybe you got 1 lakh lying there maybe you got 2 lakhs lying there so i think you should first sit down write down your goals and see where you are investing what you are investing and if you think currently the market is overvalued then keep your money in a floating rate fund keep your money in an ultra short bond fund arbitrage fund wherever keep the money there saying in case the market goes down i will put this money into the market that has to be the logic and then you have to say okay these are the shares that i have bought i'll buy more at this price or these are the units that i have bought so i'll buy more at this price or i will look at some uh, uh, brazil fund china fund taiwan fund if they come down 30% or 40% i'll put in there some logic should be there and therefore you should have accumulated money if you have accumulated money per chance simply because you did not uh, deploy it in the market because of whatever reasons or that you had deployed it somewhere else maybe you had bought real estate maybe you have given to a friend who is doing business who is uh, paying you interest or not paying you interest also some reason because of which you have less efficiently deployed your money or you have let it uh, lie in the savings bank account then these are the re- if these are the reasons why you are uh, saying you want to invest more when the market goes down Uh, you're fooling yourself you should have invested more even when the market was up or down doesn't matter the greater the amount of uh, time that your money spends in the market you will benefit there is of course the chance that sometime in march 2020 when the market fell 20 25% maybe 30% that is a time if you put the money in it will work harder but the question is uh waiting for some such uh, event is going to be extremely difficult and the same people who tell you oh if you had invested extra money in march 2020 are the same people who would have blamed you in january and february for sitting tight on cash in your savings bank account but it is that strategy which worked in march 2020 more by luck and belief that the human uh, entrepreneurs are capable of solving all problems so if there is a problem there will be a solution and the entrepreneur will find it or an entrepreneur encouraged by the uh, uh, government of the country will uh, will solve the problem right so we had a problem a major crisis called coro- chinese corona and chinese corona was killing people when two indian entrepreneurs uh, stood up and said we will create a vaccine that vaccine worked in india the vaccine worked around the world we are alive today so many of us are alive today and i mean the number of deaths in india is not even comparable to uh, china look at what is happening in china so our entrepreneurs have the ability to solve problems and i'm uh, i'm very disappointed by sorry uh, for a digression but the government has done nothing to recognize these two entrepreneurs who took so much risk if there is a return of uh, the corona crisis you will turn to the same people and say can you please make more vaccine 
but there is no guarantee that all their vaccines got uh, used right so some of it they must have thrown away right so i'm not even i'm not even worried for a minute about their profitability for their shareholders etc but at least cost should be covered and there has to be far greater uh, recognition at least 1 million or 2 million lives have been saved by these vaccines if this just not deserve a bharat ratna i honestly do not know what deserves a bharat ratna but sorry that was a digression but yes you have to be looking at all these options when you are investing what is happening how the country is going to work and how all that right so thank you